worth the wait, I would say. Had mm -hmm. a hell of a match. It was built to get Andrade over, because, well, they had to, and it succeeded. Uh, they gave him probably, I don't know, 70-80% of the match. All his stuff looked good. The uh, slingshot into the apron DDT was awesome. The corkscrew Silver King dive was awesome. He did that uh, foot stomp to the face. The guy's hanging in the corner. Al, uh, Del Rio did it, and I can't think who else now, but it almost always looks terrible and phony. Thank you. And he found a way. Uh, they actually did, did it to the uh, floor, but hanging from the ropes. And he found a way, like, he, he grabbed him by the hand and pulled him up into it. <laughs> well, he found a way because they fucked the spot up. Because... Pac couldn't get his foot in the right position to hang up to then do the Roman chair sit up to go halfway. So he's practically falling out of the tree of woe. Okay. So in order to do the move, Andrade basically to help him get into position to then kill him. Well, it actually looked much better. Well, I mean, if you liked it, that's fine. But I mean, it was a it was a I, botch. I thought I didn't think it was a botch. Number one, I think it was done on purpose. No, his foot was in the right position because you could see Pac trying to get his foot tied around the thing the right way. Which, of course, if it's real, you're not trying to tie your foot in. You'd be trying to get out. Okay. So well, this, if this was a mess up, it looked way better because usually the guy is holding himself in place so the other guy can step on him. Well, and this wasn't yes, that. Yes, but I mean, here's the thing with that move, I, like. Let's say, Vinny, mm -hmm. that somehow I was able to turn you upside down, which would be very difficult. Maybe me and Craig could work together. But I'm going to turn wow. you upside down, and I'm going to hang you in the tree of woe. Sure. Right? Yeah. So you're hanging by your knee pits. Technical by what term. now? Your knee pits. Well, that's the back of the knee. You're hanging by your knee pits, and uh, your foot is, is intertwined in a metal turnbuckle, okay? Sure. Bad times. It does right? sound bad, yeah. So you have two options if I hang you in this position, Vinny. You untie your own leg, and then you fall headfirst all the way down to the ground. Or you got to sit up. You know what I mean? Like a Roman chair, sit up to the top turnbuckle, and then untie your foot, and then you're sitting on the top turnbuckle, right? Mm -hmm. So you could argue that there's a reason that the people are holding themselves halfway. They're actually trying to sit up, but then they get squashed halfway through the move. It, it doesn't look like that, though. It, it looks doesn't. Like it looks contrived. I'm not yes. arguing that it normally looks very contrived. This looked way better, even though it might have been a mess up. Yes. Jake Roberts claims he invented the DDT on accident. Like he, he tripped and fell, but he heard the reaction it got and started doing that as his finish. That's what he said. Perfect. Maybe, maybe this is a happy accident. That will lead to the move looking Well, better. maybe it will. But if you if you notice, Vinny, they did the same move later, mm -hmm. and it looked totally contrived. Yeah, but he Because they did it right the second time. Yeah, but he missed. Yes. He missed well, the... well, he moved. Pac moved. Right. But the setup was the contrived setup that we didn't get the first time. Or did Pac lure him into missing? Well, he did lure him into missing in storyline, but I mean, they, they set it up the right way the second time. So they have a very, very fun match. Pac's making his comeback. And then there's a guy. Who has been with uh, Andrade the whole time, but he's, he's never done anything, hasn't spoken, he's just hung out in the background, they've never identified him. Suddenly, he's on the apron. We are told his name is Jose. And Jose starts to... Yeah, who was this guy? I just told you, it's Jose. No, who is Jose? The guy who's been in the background doing nothing for weeks. I didn't even notice he'd ever even been there, he's done so little. I knew Chavo was there. Sure. But then this Jose guy shows up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who in the fuck is Jose? And I had no earthly idea who Jose was. I still, I, honestly, I still don't know. He's the third guy when they do interviews. Who is he? Jose. You two idiots. Do any of you fuckers know who Jose is? He's the third guy. Bro, fuck off. <laughs> who is he? Do you right. know? There's no more information. Okay, so you don't know. There is a third guy. His name is Jose. That's the extent of the information. But you don't know anything yeah. about him? You don't know why he's there? No. You know everything we know. Yeah. Okay, so who the fuck is this guy? Jose! No, that's not enough for me, you moron! God damn it, I'm trying to make a point here that no one knows who this guy is. I think you've made your point, Brian, and so have we. You guys are absolute... Yes? Dunderheads today. Vinny's pink again. Look at him. God, help me. There's no other answer, Brian. I have no more information for you than who this no. who's a person is. We are all in the same... Thank God nobody in the chat knows who he is either. Good. He is Jose. Oh, thanks, chat. I thought we just determined that's not enough. 
I don't like when there's someone on TV that I don't know who they are. And they're like <laughs> supposed to be in a... Whatever you do, do not no, bro, turn on MTV tonight. I, listen, you idiot. <laughs> My point is, if I'm watching a show every week, okay, it's one thing if there's someone on the TV who I can't identify, but they're just like there. Okay, whatever. Who cares? But when that person is playing a pivotal role in a big match, I better know who this fucking guy is. Oh, there's Jose, they said. Who? No, that's How do I know it was Jose and not Carlos? I don't, because I don't know who the guy is. Well, I told you it was Anyway, him. Jose interfered. Mm -hmm. Well, he's distracted. Distracted. He pulls out a taser and starts firing it randomly in the air, which is not how tasers work. No. But it distracts the referee. Chavo then gets in the ring. Wait a second. What do you mean Jose is the translator for Andrade? That's Chavo. Right? As far as I know. He needs two translators? No one is that bad at Spanish or English. Well, either way. He's actually maybe, pretty good at Spanish. Maybe you need two translators. So That's racist. I'm a Mexican. <laughs> so Chavo clanks pack with an iPad. Yes, an iPad. Mm -hmm. A mini. Apparently knocked unconscious by this. And uh, Andrade wins. It was a tremendous match with what I thought at the time was a shit finish, not knowing what was to come next. I I wrote shit finish, but I assume it's going somewhere. Well, here's where it went a minute later. Are you really, Brian? Yes, Brian Alvarez is fucking... I'm half Mexican. My father is 100% Mexican. My father swam the Rio Grande to get here. This is all true. This guy thinks he's his lawyer. His lawyer? lawyer. What does he have a lawyer for? <laughs> what did he, what? Why does Andrade need a lawyer that's on TV all the time? Why has that well, been mentioned that Andrade has a lawyer? I didn't know he had a lawyer. And if he's his oh. lawyer, what's he interfering in a match for? He should know that's illegal. Mm, that's very true. Strong point there. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.